the HybraScan system for food testing, a rapid microbial quality control technology based on in situ hybridization. This system can reduce the time to result by 2 to 14 days, depending on the target organism, and this at low costs. The HybraScan technology allows the genus and species specific detection of viable microorganisms only, which minimizes false positive results from dead bacteria. The in situ sandwich hybridization that the method uses is highly sensitive even for crude samples and not susceptible to matrix interference. Let's take a look at the workflow. Solid food samples can be prepared with the enrichment sample homogenizer. The HybraScan method is very sensitive, requiring only 1,000 viable bacterial or 100 viable yeast cells for detection. If enough cells are available, even quantification can be performed, but in many cases, pre-cultivation in an enrichment broth is necessary. The HybraScan method is not sensitive to the matrix, so for enrichment, any suitable medium can be used. For example, buffered peptone water. The samples are usually incubated overnight. The first step on the next day is to open the bacterial cell walls so they release the ribosomal RNA. A spatula of glass beads is given into a micro-reaction tube and then the sample added. The tube is centrifuged and the supranatant removed. Lysis buffer A and lysis reagent B are added to the pellet. The tubes are mixed and incubated for 15 minutes in a thermo shaker. Then a further lysis buffer is added, followed again by 15 minutes in the thermo shaker. The ribosomal RNA has now been released. Then the sample is centrifugated another 10 minutes during which the hybridization plate can be prepared. A test solution containing the capture probes is given into the wells of the hybridization microplate, which is then pre-incubated for five minutes in the thermo shaker. After centrifugation, the RNA is in the supranatant. For hybridization with the probes to form a sandwich complex, RNA containing supranatant and standard solution are added to the corresponding wells of the prepared microplate, which is then covered with a lid and incubated for 10 minutes. The subsequent coupling reaction binds the sandwich complex to a different plate, which is pre-coated for this purpose. Material from each hybridization mix is transferred to this binding plate, which is then incubated for 15 minutes in a thermo shaker. After the coupling reaction, all the liquid is discarded. This is followed by a washing step. The sandwich complex remains on the plate as it has been immobilized. Next, the enzyme is bound to the immobilized complex. Prepared enzyme solution is given into each well, the microplate then covered and incubated for a further 25 minutes. Again, all the liquid in the wells is discarded. This is followed by two washing steps to remove the enzyme that didn't bind, leaving only enzyme that is bound to the immobilized complex. If present, the enzyme is now ready to react with a chromogenic substrate. Substrate is added to each well, the plate then covered and incubated for 10 minutes. In sample wells where there has been an enzymatic reaction, the liquid turns blue. This is a first indication that the targeted organism was present in the sample. The enzymatic reaction is stopped by adding a stop solution. This turns the color of positive samples yellow. 
The intensity of the color is proportional to the concentration of organisms in the sample. If a prior enrichment step was performed, it is of course no longer possible to quantify the microorganism concentration in the original food sample. However, detection, confirmation, and identification can nevertheless be performed. Place the microplate in a microplate reader and measure the optical density in each well at 450 nanometers. The blank and negative samples should be white to slightly yellow, while positive samples or controls should show a stronger yellow tone. Qualitative results can be read with a naked eye after placing the plate on a white background. To see our complete portfolio of detectable species, genera, and organism groups, or the detailed HyperScan operating instructions, visit our website.